What's up everybody, Landon Castle here, driver of the 89 Blue Emu Chevrolet in the NASCAR iRacing Pro Invitational Series and driver in the NASCAR Cup Series, Xfinity, all those things. I'm back here again on iRacing to give you guys a tutorial about uh, driving cup cars at Dover and focusing on how to save your tires with the throttle. I made over a thousand laps at Dover testing for our Pro Invitational race last weekend and I learned a lot about tire saving because Dover is one of the biggest tire eating racetracks on iRacing right now. First off I'm going to show you um, a fast lap. What I did was I made two 10 lap runs. As you can see um, this is a 10 lap run here at Dover and this is another 10 lap run. Um, I did them both with two different techniques. So I'm going to show you my fastest lap from each run and then a later lap in each run, show you the differences and then I'll show you the tire wear differences between the two driving styles. I'll overlay the data as well. And on this run, uh, looking at the data at the bottom here, you can see that I'm just, I'm lifting using a little bit of brake, going right back to wide open throttle after the car gets pointed. Pretty traditional driving style. This works really well. Pretty much everybody, anywhere, turn three and four, you really want to make sure the car gets rotated before you pick up the throttle um, and is pointing so I've got no problem with this driving style a little bit of a diamond I like to keep my left side tires above the seam as you'll see in the overhead view left side tires above the seam in the diamond coming back down to the bottom but again I'm focusing on my throttle here I'm going to wide open throttle pretty much committing this is early in a run this is a pretty fast lap all right, so now I'm gonna look at a tire saving lap here and this is again a very comparable lap a 2197 so very similar um, speed to my fastest lap in the first run but as you can see in the VRS data in my throttle trace it's it's very different right here I'm not just going to wide open I'm actually holding like 95% throttle all the way until I pretty much get out onto the straightaway you can see again same thing in turn three and four picking up the throttle and basically the same place but I'm you know, I'm all the way out to the wall here before I'm actually committing to wide open throttle. And if we go back to the to this part of the track, off of turn two, at this point in the other lap, I was already committed to wide open. Here, I'm still, um, you can see, 91% throttle. So this is early in the run, comparable lap time. Now let's look at see what those two uh, different driving styles look like late in the run. All right, lap nine, run one. Again, try to keep up. This is committing to wide open throttle as soon as I can. Lift, similar brake pressure, same diamond, left side tires above that or below that seam. Little bit of hesitation, but I'm getting it to wide open, okay? This lap time has fallen off to about a 2240 at this point. This is nine laps into the 10 lap run. Um, so we've seen about a, about a half a second of fall off in nine laps, okay? So we're gonna go to run two. On lap nine, I'm running a 2234. So you can see a little bit of a benefit in the tire saving. I've got, I'm a 10th faster. There could be some other factors involved there. And we're gonna look at lap nine of run two. So this is the more little bit more conservative driving style. Again, going same, pretty much the same throttle initiation. But instead of just going to wide open, I'm going to 90% and I'm holding 90% out onto the straightaway. The lap time is a little bit better here. I've got a 2234. You can see here going almost, I actually kind of went to 97 there, just hesitating, holding it all the way out and then going to 100 down the straightaway. Same thing off of turn four, a little more hesitation here as the tires have worn off. Carrying the speed there, still not 100%, still not 100%. Out on the straightaway, finally 100% throttle. Okay. So I just showed you four laps. Two laps, uh, the first two laps were the fastest lap of two different runs. Pretty much the same lap time. Going to 100% throttle on lap on the first one, holding 90% until the straightaway on the second one, identical laps. The other set of laps I showed you were um, late in the run. The laps were within a tenth of each other, very comparable. One of them, again, was going to 100% as soon as I could commit the other one. Same thing, kind of conservative with the throttle, waiting that last 10% until we get onto the straightaway. All right, so I'm diving into the data here of those first two fast laps, okay? So this is lap number one, a run one, aggressive throttle, going to wide open, 
you can see the difference in the data right here this is this where my cursor is is what I'm focusing on the throttle traces are very similar the brake traces are very similar everything is very similar except for the fact that I am holding that last 10% of throttle back until I get all the way onto the straightaway same thing in turn 3 and 4 you can see I'm holding back that last 10% of the throttle until I get onto the straightaway there's really no time difference the lap times are pretty much the same you can see right here the time delta 0 0.007 that's seven one thousandths of a lap different so didn't really give up much time again very similar thing I drove the car a little bit different here in three and four uh, but generally speaking you see the same tendencies with the throttle holding back that last little bit of percent right there of throttle until I get all the way onto the straightaway so everything I've showed you is two different driving styles to this point but the lap times have compared comparably are kind of the same so what do you really gain from this well let's look at our tire wear on stint one 10 lap run my tire wears in the middle of my right side tires is 89% on the right front and 95% on the right rear it's a lot of tire wear for a 10 lap run that's that's pretty much 1% of tire wear per lap on the right front but on stint two my tire wear is 91.57 on the right front. Dramatically better on the second 10 lap run, the more conservative driving style, um, not rushing to wide open throttle, getting off the corner. Ultimately, that is the difference between three tenths a lap or four tenths a lap late into a 20 or 30 lap run where you see your tire wear is still maintaining 50 or 60% as opposed to burning them to the ground at 10% and blowing a tire out on a long run. Hopefully this helps. Uh, hopefully you can try it. We've got some short tracks coming up with Martinsville. This can definitely help with your rear tire wear. 